the reason why knowledge bases are so super important is that they can save you countless hours on your support if you have articles that are helping your users. In this video, I will compare Document 360 with Help Juice to figure out what is the best knowledge base and I will compare them on eight different points. So let's get started. Now we are ready to compare Help Juice with Document 360 on eight different points. And the first point I want to compare them on is the API. Both Help Juice and Document 360 has APIs. The first one here is Help Juice API, which they have built, of course, within Help Juice because it is a knowledge based system. And you can see out here that we can basically do everything with the API. This is great to see because normally the API is restricted to do specific things, but Help Juice have chosen just to open up for everything. So you can do everything via the API, which increases your productivity. And it's super easy to get started. You just get your token from your settings created, and then you can start using the API. So this is definitely a plus point for Help Juice. Here we are for the Document 360 API documentation. They are using something called Swagger for their API documentation. And it works the same way. You can see we have all the different endpoints here. We can test them by authorizing via our API key, which we get in our settings. And then they have again opened up for everything. So you can do again everything through the API. You can create and manage categories. You can manage articles. You can manage your team, the readers, projects, and so on. So they have gone the same direction as Help Juice and just opened up completely. Swagger is an easy way to make an API documentation, which is why they have probably done it like this. But I will say that Help Juice API documentation was a little bit more UI friendly to look at. Though I will say that here we can easily test and a lot of people and developers who are using APIs, they know Swagger. So it will be easy for them just to jump right in and get started. The next thing we will compare on is the assistant for the knowledge base. This is basically the widget you see down here that you can embed wherever you want this knowledge base. And then people can open it up and they can start searching for articles that they can read. And I will say that Help Juice's assistant down here is very well made. I can visit the knowledge base, I can contact them, or I can search for an article and see it within the assistant here. It's a very well made design and it works very well. Document 360 does also have a knowledge base assistant. You can see a preview over here and it works the same way. We can search for articles, we can see the knowledge base and then we can get help on the page. So this is basically the preview. Again, the design is very simple. It's minified and it works well. And again, you can embed it wherever you want this assistant to show. You can also filter it to only show on specific URLs but everything is possible with this assistant. You just integrate it with Google Tag Manager or you do it manually by inserting it in the code. So both of these systems have a knowledge base assistant that works well. You can search within, you can read the articles and you can give feedback. The third point I want to show and compare on is integrations. So here we are within Help Juice and they have quite some integrations already. They have to Slack, Salesforce, and the list goes on down here. Though I will say that at the moment they only have to Zendesk and Freshdesk. They don't have to Intercom, Crisp Chat, or Help Scout. This means that when they can integrate to Intercom in these types of chats, then people can search directly in Help Juice via Intercom or you can via Intercom answer with articles from Help Juice. So this is adding up to being a more productive tool that we can use to save, again, countless hours. So right now they have a limited amount of integrations, but as you can see that these are frequently requested and they're working on a lot more. Within Document 360, it works a little bit different. Here we are not showing any at the moment, but when you want to add a new integration, you just click here. 
and within document 360 we have a lot more integrations to work with and they do have intercom they do have chats like live chat fresh chat and so many more even crisp chat down here so document 360 is very much integrated into multiple platforms compared to help juice so on this point document 360 is definitely ahead and it's very easy to set up. You just need to enter your intercom ID, write a description here. You can even set up some advanced rules if you want to. And then you have set up an integration to intercom. It is so easy to get started. Now the fourth point I want to compare on is the UI and the UX. And here I will say that Help Juice is winning. The UI and UX is easy to use. It's more modern than document 360 and it's just an easy way to show a lot of data without feeling overwhelmed this one help use is definitely ahead and they are just doing a very well job maintaining this ui throughout all of their platform and the different modules within document 360 everything is a little bit more compact and it looks a little bit less modern than help juice and especially when we go to documentation here, you can see again, the menu is very packed together. They do very well in maintaining the same structure throughout the platform, but I would like to see more spacing and maybe some more modern lines than now. You can see here, they're doing a little bit with some spacing and it adds a lot of value. Though the benefit of compact pressing everything together is that you show more information to the user on less space this can also be a productivity hack though it can also feel overwhelming for some people the fifth point is mobile apps neither help juice nor document 360 are right now at the moment having any mobile apps i can't see why they should have mobile apps so i didn't expect any of them to have it it can be that uh, you want to, while you're on your road, then you want to maybe change an article because you have an idea or you want to create a draft while you have the idea. You want to maybe see some statistics or whatever it can be on the mobile. Though their entire platform, both Document360 and Help Use are mobile friendly, so they can just open up a browser and use them but maybe a mobile app will be something they will develop in the future, though I can't see the big need for it at the moment. So I didn't expect any of them to have a mobile app. Now the sixth point I want to compare on is analytics. And here we are within Help Juice in their analytics and they keep the design. Overall, it's easy to find the different statistics I want to see. I can see the support cases avoided, which means that I have sent an article instead of helping them on a chat or an email. We can see searches, we can see articles, how it's going, and they're even going so far to have this module over here, which I really like, and this is answers to improve. So this means that if an article has received a lot of bad feedback, it will then appear here, which means that it maybe needs to be redone. And this is a great way to figure out, maybe you have an article that's outdated, for your system or for a third party integration or it just needs to be rewritten in a more easy language we can also see statistic on all of our different articles which is viewed most and so on the same we can see for categories and then we can see it for user groups as well within document 360 we have a little more data to work with we can see geographic where are people coming from to read the knowledge base we can see the performance, which is total likes, total dislikes, views and reads. Then we can also see average time spent on the different articles. And here on the graph, it will also show likes, dislikes and so on. Here we can see the leading authors, articles, categories and countries. We can again see the search. We can see statistic about the team accounts. We can see overall the feedback we have received. Is it good? Is it bad? What do we need to improve? We can see the link status. Do we link anywhere where it's not working? Then we of course need to fix that because that's a bad experience to have. Then we also have page not found and ticket deflector. So within document 360, you do get more elaborate analytics to dive into and see where you can optimize. Though I will say that I still like the design more from Help Juice 
especially the graph overview here. Now the seventh point I want to compare on is how we can customize our homepage, basically our knowledge base. And within Help Juice, you have to be able to code in order to do this. It is simplified coding and it is basically HTML that you need to work with. And if you've been working with Shopify, then this should be pretty straightforward for you. But here you need to definitely sit and code the different elements you want to use. Though you can always start with a theme over here and they have a lot of great themes you can start with. But no matter what theme you choose, you still have to manually sit and code the different elements. If you want to add more or remove stuff, you can always request an expert customization where you can pay someone to do it. Here Document 360 are way ahead of Help Juice. This is a very simple way of creating and managing your knowledge base. We can easily sit and drag and drop our different components around. There is no need to be able to code. We can add a header link. We can add new elements here, which can be text, columns, HTML, image, categories, and even widgets as well. So within widgets, you can see we have the most viewed articles, most liked articles and so on. But here it is so easy to work with. You basically drag and drop and it requires no coding knowledge at all. If you do want to code, you can still add an HTML element here and then you can sit and code your HTML. So you can still customize it to fit your needs, especially with it HTML and CSS as well. But you don't need to, you can still just use the drag and drop elements and this is working so well compared to help juice. Now the last point I want to compare on are the Chrome extensions. And the Chrome extensions are working perfectly fine both for Document 360 and for Help Juice. First off here we are looking at Document 360. And as you can see here, the way the Chrome extension works is that you always have a way to search within your articles. So if you're using Document 360 for internal use, then this is a perfect addition for your team because they can fast and easily find the article wherever they are on the web and just get an answer fast. Here we are on the Help Juice Chrome extension and it works exactly the same way. They have a Chrome extension up here where they can always search on the articles internally with the team to see if they can get an answer of their question or they maybe need to create the article because it doesn't exist. Though one thing that's surprising me here is that Help Juice is not 100% following their design guidelines in the Chrome extension. Here the Document 360 Chrome extension is actually designed a bit better than Help Juice. But the functionality is the same. We can get articles by searching on our question or of course we can then choose to create the different articles. So before we move on to comparing the pricing, I just want to show you the Help Center the actual front page and how it looks. This is within Help Juice. And as you saw, I just chose a theme and then I went with it. So here you can see that we have some different links here, basically working as cards. We have some topics as well. And then we have popular articles and some more down here. If I click on an article, then of course we can read about the article. We can give feedback. We can also write feedback and we can see related articles. This design within Help Juice is working very well. It's simple, but kept modern. Now this is within Document 360. And within Document 360, I've also just chosen a theme and went with it. They also do have more modern themes if you're looking for that. But here you can see basically the same as we saw in the drag and drop builder. We have our category manager, documentation. We can see some different categories here as well. We have some quick links where you can chat with us, call us or send us an email. And then even down here we have a full on menu where you can make it look like your website. So it looks like they're sitting on your website. You can also of course change the header up here as well. You can work with the background here. And overall this is working very well. When we click on an article we get this view here. We can see that out here we can basically make a menu to categorize the different articles so they can easily jump between the different articles. And it's also working very well. We can give feedback here where we can say whether we found it helpful or not. And then otherwise we can go to the next article. This design is also overall looking okay. 
The menu here I would like to be maybe a bit more modern, but overall it looks okay and they do also support dark mode. Now the last thing I want to compare these two tools on are pricing. And the first pricing we will look at is Help Juice. Help Juice does not have a free plan. They only have paid plans, though they have a 14 day free trial where you can test out Help Juice to see whether it's for you or not. For the different plans here, there are only one thing mainly changing and that is the amount of users you can have using Help Juice. The features, the amazing customer care and the free expert customization is there for all of them. It is only the amount of users that are differing and there are no free plan. So if you're looking to get all the features and you don't have a lot of users, then help use might be the pick for you. Now document 360 is a lot different. First off, then you can see they have a completely free plan with five accounts and knowledge base version. And then you do get some basic functionality to build up your knowledge base up to 50 articles. You can even work with custom branding, homepage builder, and so much more down here. Within document 360, when we scale up to the paid plans here, then they do also offer a 14 day free trial. But you can see overall the pricing here compared to help use is cheaper. Here with Help Juice, it costed 120 US dollars for four team accounts. And here we get five team accounts for 99 US dollars. Of course, this is paid yearly, but if you're just looking to scale up and have a lot of team accounts, then Document 360 might be a better choice for you. Again, this business plan here where we get 20 team account is still cheaper than Help Juice. So overall, though I will say that all of these different features varies a lot. If you're looking to get full feature set, then you need to upgrade up to the business plan here where you can do almost everything. Of course, they also have the enterprise solution, but I will say that with the business solution here, then you're very well on the way and you have full feature functionality almost. You have 20 team accounts and you're just ready to go in, write the articles and create an outstanding knowledge base. These two tools are so close to each other in functionality that it's almost impossible to pick between them. I will say a couple of things though, because if we look at the pricing, then Document 360 might seem like a better deal if we compare the users. But if you want all features, full functionality, then Help Juice is the best deal for you because it also comes in the lower price. For Help Juice, I really like the UI Though I will say that Document 360 had better theme customization and overall just more integrations. And this means that Document 360 for me is a slightly easier tool and more productive, which means that it would be the choice for me. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.